Hello, hello, hello again. So, a couple months ago I started noticing, uh, or maybe I'm just late to the game, but I started noticing people doing their black bag collections. And I was thinking, eh, I don't have that many black bags, but I actually do. So I said, oh, let me go ahead and put together my collection. So these are all my beauties. I'm gonna start over here. All my beauties. And then down here I have a couple more. And of course, this isn't where I store them. This is just where I'm putting them now so I can do a video. So I'm gonna start off with my clutches. This is one of my beloved clutches. It's by Parenza Schooler. Schuler. I'm probably butchering it either way. But um, I love this bag. Absolutely love it. See, it has a little Parenza Schuler in the front here. And then it opens up to this huge inside. You can hold a ton in here. Looks like it's suede on the inside. And um, I have a, like detailed videos on these bags too. So if you want more information. But I thought it would be cool to show them all together. Maybe do a couple mod shots. What am I doing here wrong? There we go. Snaps together easily. And it's a cute little, you know, clutch. Clutch it out. Clutch it in. <laughs> yes, and I have my niece helping me again, so I'm sure she does think I'm crazy, but she'll be all right. So here's one clutch. Here's another clutch that I love. This one is Valentino. There. There's inside. Oh, this shouldn't be in there. I keep these in a separate area now. This is the authenticity card. There we go. I don't know what this is. That's hilarious. She just threw those over there on the counter. Okay. Isn't it beautiful? Just beautiful. And it comes with a chain. So technically, I can wear it like this. Or without the chain, I can clutch it up. And I prefer to wear it as a clutch. I love it. Let me get this garbage out of my hand, number one. <laughs> I love wearing it as a clutch. Maybe on some smaller folks, this might work as a shoulder bag. Not on me. <laughs> but I like it this way. So, and this last one sort of really isn't a clutch. I use it as a clutch often. But this is my beloved Coach 1941 collection piece. And this is the Coach Canteen bag. Do you see it works as a clutch? It's wonderful as a clutch. Put everything you need in here. 1941 hang tag, all the usual beauty. But this actually is also a shoulder bag. So if you take this out, I have the straps rolled up inside. So let me show you what it looks like on. Okay. On my body, this is what it looks like on. Let me zip it so. This is what it looks like on. And I think, you know, it's long enough to cross body, I'm sure. I don't know if this cross body on me. I guess it does cross body. But yes, this is another fun bag, and I use it most often as a clutch, but it can go either way. So let me put this back in there and get to some of the big babies. Let me lift this back on up. You want to stick with 1941. This is one of my unicorn bags. This is my first generation Coach Rogue in the regular size. Oh my gosh, I love it. Absolutely love it. And you can tell, of course it has a 1941 hang tag, but you can also tell it's a first generation Rogue by some of the accessories that are no longer available. So, first generation comes with are you going to act up? Oh, thank you very much. 
I'm gonna get it. Ah! <laughs> Are you gonna come out? Okay, it's starting to fall out. You're gonna act upon it. There we go. Comes with a key. That goes with a lock. And you can see that the zippers have this big opening. That's how you can lock it. You unlock it here, lock it together. Gives it a little bit extra safety measure. But, oh, this bag is just beautiful. I think it's Coach Craze has a video comparing the various generations of the rogues. The first generation, second generation, and third generation and beyond. So definitely check her out. If I'm not crazy, maybe it's someone else, but I think it's Coach Craze here on YouTube. But I love this bag. I usually use it as a top handle. And like I always say, it's I'm a 22-24. And so this works like this for me. But I also keep the shoulder straps in it. So then you can just quickly tuck, tuck. And then use it as a shoulder rag. Now, as everyone who owns this, oh, and of course, I guess you can use the crook of your arm. And everyone who know, owns this bag also knows you can double up the straps and make it a longer shoulder bag and potentially a crossbody for some folks. But uh, I don't think it's very comfortable on me. Let me see. Oh yeah, no, that's, it just feels clunky to me as a crossbody. But you know, that's cause you know, I top heavy and uh, it's just, yeah, it's too clunky for me for this. But it works, it does work. So if I'm in a clinch, if I'm in, a, in the clutch, I can do it if I need to. All right, there's that one. And this, my favorite bucket bag of all time. It's another Perenza Schuler bag. Y'all don't sleep on Perenza Schuler. They have fabulous, fabulous bags. So this is a bucket bag. I forget the exact name. If I remember the exact names of the bags, well, I won't remember. I'll look them up and then put it in the um, in the uh, comment, not comments, in the uh, description. description area. Thank you, thank you, baby girl. Okay. But there we go. Bucket bag. Back in the front. And then I believe it's at its longest length. Oh, no, it's not. This shoulder, then, I think we can make it super long to make it a crossbody. Oh, no, we can't. I mean, we can, but it's like right under my boob. <laughs> but again, in a clutch, if you have to, you can. Or you can make it a still long shoulder rag. Oops, I didn't do well. Oh, I love this baby. And I particularly like it because the different types of leather. Suede, like buffalo pebble leather. This is snake skin, and this is smooth leather. I just love it, love it. Beautiful, beautiful bag. Fabulous hardware, just love it. Alrighty then. And we're now on to my, oh, let me just go into the front here. This is one of the newest pieces to my collection, my Louis Vuitton bum bag. Just got this for my birthday. I just love the hardware. But this one, you can go around the waist, waist, waist. <laughs> These doggone masks, but you can also, my niece is here. We got to keep our masks on, y'all. We can, uh, let me go see if I can make this look good. There we go. We can do it this way. And I like this. I mean, I'm very, of course, busty. And I think I've mentioned it before. I'm a 42N. And I think this looks fine, you know? But she can also do it 
like what a lot of ladies do, men and ladies, all along the spectrum. There you go. And there you go. Leather. Okay. So now my next one. Oh, let me go to the back. My beloved. Ooh, I just dropped some. My beloved La Pliage bag. Lay Pliage bag from Longchamp. Yay. And this is, you know, it's got a little beat up. But you know what? This is a great go-to. Whenever you just need to toss a whole bunch of things in there. I think it's, it's not an equivalent to, what am I even thinking? Oh, it's like an alternative to the Neverfull. You can just, it's just a big old cavern. And a little pocket here. And I've done this where I've been carrying a bag a particular day. Then maybe the next day it's rainy. I just toss the whole bag in here and just carry it. Because then, you know, once it stops raining, I can go back to using whatever bag I was using. But also, um, I have this in various sizes and I love them. I have a long shot collection on here somewhere, a video somewhere. Let's see here. Next, one of my, oh man, hold on just a second. Uh, or are you gonna get that for me? I'm oh. gonna try. Oh no, go on over here, I'll get in. Just don't get my face. <laughs> well, I guess you can get my bum. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up the bum bag. This is one of my first beloved luxury bags. This is a Burberry bag. Love, love, love. And we use here or top handle it. But that's, again, this one also has a long strap on the inside. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, I was watching someone's video and they were suggesting that, you know what, use your dust bag, stuff them stuff the dust bag and then put it inside of your bags to, you know, give it shape. And I've been doing that since and I love it. But anyways, this is the long strap that goes with it. So you just hook it on here and here. Are you not gonna cooperate? Got it. Oh, it, it should cooperate. Hope you're old onto that. Actually, how do you do it? See? Oh, like, I got it, I got it. No, no, I already got it. Oh. See, it's not all. See, young minds don't know everything. I Te about to teenagers say don't know everything. <laughs> I hope you set up this phone. Why are you gonna bring why are you gonna put my business out here? Huh? <laughs> yeah, y'all, I got this iPhone. I've been Samsung for days. So yeah, this iPhone and me were not friends at first, but she's growing on me. Oh, this phone. No. <laughs> long but this one is definitely the crossbody for me you see how it's more on my hip and not up here under my you know this is perfect i can stick my hand in there easily i love this bag and again i think i have a detailed uh review of this bag too somewhere on my channel the the videos i have related to these bags i'll try to be do right and um Put it in the description box. Miss Epi Leather? Hmm? Epi Leather. What's that? Mean? Oh, this one is, I think, is it your favorite bag in my collection or one of them? Uh, I think that monogram, well, not the monogram, but the Louis one and then these two. This one? Yeah, they're at a tie. Okay, then. So this one and this one are her top two favorites in my collection. Oh no, the tiny one. Okay, yeah, one. bye. All right then. The three. <laughs> they're they're yeah. tied. So this is one of them. And this is my beloved work bag. Okay. Epi Leather Louis Vuitton bag. Okay. Oh, look at her. She didn't care about it. Oh, that's somebody's phone. That's you. Oh, they'll be all right. And that came with the luggage tag. This is the, I think this is the only bag I purchased from eBay. Yeah, I got this on eBay a few years back for like three something. Three. So not three, three, three fifty, something like that. So not my greatest deal, but still a good deal considering it's in really good condition. A lot of these bags have a lot of peeling on the inside. Don't have that. And then the outside is in great condition. But this has been a wonderful work bag. So it's definitely top handle. 
and I got it used. I don't think it came with any straps because I've seen it on the pre love market. I've never seen it with straps. So this is my baby. All right, we got two more. And let me see. I think, yep, this is another beloved piece from the Coach 1941 collection. This is a rogue satchel, and that's his actual name, the rogue satchel. Isn't it beautiful? Here's the side. And the unique thing with this is it comes with whip stitch handles. And if you wanna see the difference, let me pull up my old bag. See the difference in the handles? So, this I use often top handle, but like my other bags, there is a longer strap on the inside, and the nice things with these bags is that they Look at like a one-hander, snap them on. I love that other Burberry bag, but that handle snap was nobody's friend. You know, to clip it back on. <laughs> Alrighty then, clip this on here. Bam. And look, it has a nice little padded area for your shoulder. Bam. Isn't it beautiful? Love it. Yay. And then this can, no, this isn't going crossbody for me. <laughs> but I'm sure a lot of people it can. Yay. So I'll put this one back. And now I'm on to my last beauty. Put this back. See nothing act up on me. And this, again, is another one of my favorite bags in my collection. Another Perenza Shula bag. Oops. <laughs> See, she's hard hit. I told her to hold it by a certain way and she don't want to do it. That's well, all right. I, I've been moving this thing a lot, so. Oh, okay. So. Look at this. Look how much room we have in there. Got my pocket. Oh, that goes to say. Yeah. Isn't it wonderful? It is absolutely beautiful. I love this bag. It has little slip pockets, free to use, and the zip pocket here. It's attached, but it is detachable. I mean, this bag is fabulous, and it holds a ton, but it looks fabulous. Look at that. You know? It's like, what? Fashion, fashion. What did Tyra say? Catalog, and make it fashion. <laughs> Don't look at me like that girl okay then so anyways i think this was it yes this is my last my last black bag and yeah if you guys have any questions or whatever you know send them my way um let me think i have a couple of different videos that have been popping around in my head i just put up not just a little while ago i put up my video on my chanel uh catalog collection which i love um I might also, I need to do an updated, not an update, I need to do an, uh, my entire costume jewelry collection. And then also, um, and that's, and this is one of them, my beloved uh, Chanel hoop earrings. Now don't get too, too close on me, girl, I'm not wearing no makeup. <laughs> so, um, and then, oh, and I had a couple of last minute birthday presents come in. But anyways, I'll have some videos going up, I'm trying to be more regular, hopefully at least once a weekend, um, but maybe more like, you know, a couple times a week, who knows. But anyhow, y'all, thank you. Uh, that's it. If you have any comments, put in the, oh, I forgot. I just glanced over here. My production assistant is slipping. I didn't think that was like necessarily, necessarily black though. What, what? 
I mean, it's not black. It is, but you want it like black. So I just I didn't didn't threw define me off. the level of blackness. I just said black. Black. You black. We black. We all black. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, uh, let me put this up. This is a Diane von Furstenberg clutch. I've had this for several years and it is a fabulous bag. DVF. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? A little pocket in the back. This bad boy has been, has seen many, uh, you know, fundraising dinners. Uh, where else do I take them? Nice dinners out on dates before I got married. I got married in 2017, y'all. So, um, it's just a fabulous bag. Shoe. I wear this today. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> All right, she's laughing at me now, y'all. Okie dokie. So, um, let me see. Let me uh, sit like this, maybe. Maybe this will be my thumbnail. What is, what, how is this? Is this a good thumbnail? No. Oh, oh. What about this? No. Oh. Well, why don't you, what, what are you going to help me out? What should I do? We have a thumbnail. Yeah, but that's a picture. I want maybe something more organic. Mm, no no none of them okay no. whatever y'all okay then well no thumbnail from here but this is my black bag collection Alrighty, i will see y'all in the next video bye thank you to my niece